Hello Chess Lovers, Snowden here and in today's video we are going to analyze a little known but a brilliant attacking game played by Soviet Ukrainian chess grandmaster Isaac Boleslavsky. His opponent is his compatriot Vladimir Savon. Savon would earn international master title in 1967 and a grandmaster title in 1973. Meanwhile this is year 1963, we are in Minsk at Burevesnik Championship and Boleslavski opened up with E4. Savon is still of course far from his best years uh, and in this game we will see that his game is not that good. Uh, Savon is playing Karokan defense but after D takes E4 Knight takes E4 instead of those usual continuations like Bishop F5, Knight D7 knight f6 we have a rare continuation g6 a more like an old-fashioned move which is of course not popular nowadays knight f3 and instead of a move like knight f6 black decides to put the knight on the rim later aiming to bring it on f5 square here both players castled kingside rook e1 knight d7 bishop g5 knight b6 bishop goes back knight f5 c3 here white could also play g4 this requires a little bit of calculations uh, and but instead decided first to protect the knight on d4 moreover we won't see this aggressive g4 move in the game knight g3 rook e8 queen d2 a5 a4 takes takes at the moment nothing special happens but gradually white is already starting to intensify the pressure white's position is more preferable and it was in here that black made a fatal mistake played rook a7 uh, better was playing f6 although blocking the dark squared bishop's diagonal also weakening this diagonal a to g8 diagonal is not the most pleasant choice but once again let me tell you that according to stockfish f6 is the move instead we have rook a7 and now let's see what's the problem with it there comes rook e5 attacking the pawn on c6 now if rook c7 then c4 can be unpleasant followed by c5 uh, and if queen c7 then again c4 and then d5 black is already in a very tough situation the c4 is coming also g4 is playable that's why black decided to go for an exchange on e5 bishop e6 bishop h6 knight c7 uh, someone is playing very passively all he does is to defend and so already it's high time for bombarding black's position here we go can you guess what's next moves yes boleslavski went for an exchange sacrifice f takes e6 another heavy blow rook takes e6 it's very important to win on e6 with the rook otherwise if bishop takes e6 then black is managing to repel white's attack it's not clear how can you proceed how can you make your position better but instead we have rook takes e6 and in here accepting the second exchange sacrifice can be very bad for black and then queen f4 with very nasty threats so after uh, rook e6 we have knight d5 and another marvelous move how to proceed here we go queen f4 white queen is coming to exploit the weaknesses around black king further you can't accept the queen sacrifice because of this double check followed by a checkmate that's why after queen f4 black played queen b8 and queen e4 and now white is creating another threat rook takes g6 king h8 takes takes queen takes d5 
There is no coordination among black pieces and Victor is just a matter of moves. One of the possible ways of intensifying the pressure can be bishop f4 followed by check, exposing black king further. Uh, rook d8, queen e4, rook d7, d5, this time vacating the d4 square, enough is enough, Savon resigned. A very very nice attack by Boleslavski, which I am sure he enjoyed a lot. Wanna take a look at that rook e6 once again. Here we go. Rook takes e6. Another rook takes e6. Knight d5. Queen f4. Queen f4 is brutal. Very, very brutal. Now bishop d5 is coming as well as rook g6 is the major threat. Takes, takes. A few more moves, black resigned. In the end, the chess puzzle for you, the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.